So mitigating between you know an affluent area and an area that doesn't have the same resources. Uh, you know, in the affluent area, obviously everything is gold standard, and you know they have the money, they have the resources to do that, and fairs expect that, and I think that's a good thing to hold them to it. And then, but I think in the more areas that have least amount of, or lesser resources, I think sometimes as fairs we get ourselves in trouble because we assume that owner doesn't have the financial means to give the horse the gold standard. So I think you always have to present the gold standard idea to them. So let's take our horse, for example, that had the abscess. You know, it's ideal to keep them in a stall, keep them bandaged for seven to 10 days. And if you're out at a farm that doesn't have a stall, I don't think it's a good idea to just say, okay, well, we're just gonna go ahead and put a shoe and a pad on it anyway, and never tell the owner what the gold standard plan is, because you never know that client may have a best friend down the road that has a stall or, or they may want to have the, the horse stalled at the hospital or the clinic and have the, the techs and the veterinarians take care of it. You know, they, they may be willing to and may want to give their horse the gold standard, but if, you're, if they're not given that option, they, ne they can never take it. Okay? So after you've given the option, if they tell you, okay, I have no way to do that gold standard, what else can we do? That's when you have to go to your, your backup plans and just trying to do as best of a possible job for that horse as you can. And so, um, and that again, we take our abscessing horse, for example, so we know we'd like to get ventral drainage, soak it, um, and keep it bandaged for a week to 10 days. But if you're out there, they have just a field, no way to soak and wrap or keep the horse bandaged, then absolutely, maybe you wanna soak that day, get it as clean as possible, you know, to bride it as best you possibly can, and then put a shoe and a pad on with some sort of antiseptic packing. So, you know, betadine, sugar dine, any of those things, the magic cushions, or in my, my case, I like to pack again with the oakum, venous turpentine, and copper sulfate. And that's and been for me a very antiseptic packing that's very easy, very cheap, and does a very good job at protecting and treating that area.